Was it you who was pulling down all the famous buildings? <laughs> oh, yeah. My ambition is to destroy this house with quirkiness. Interesting piece. I'll do you a nice deal on that for 1,200 euro. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm going to give you one price and one price only. End the story. Okay. <laughs> End the story. <laughs> Britain's a treasure trove of design classics, and we know where to find them. We scout for the unusual. Furniture, antiques, artwork, anything that has the potential for an eye-catching transformation. It's amazing. <laughs> we find them in the most unlikely places and buy them from the most unlikely people. There's a bit of junk chucking about. <laughs> we work for an eclectic bunch of people. Singers, designers, collectors, shops and hotels. There are a number of specific things I'm looking for you guys to find for me. And of course, we get the best deals. 620. Done. Ah! <laughs> if you want something old, something lovely, something strange, and you can't find it, oh. we will. We're heading to Ireland for the next few days. Two jobs have come in from contacts in Dublin. So we're off to meet the client and visit some local dealers while we're there. If the trip goes well, we should have a full vehicle on our return. Am I going to be able to understand them? Uh, you'll be fine. All the Americans are part Irish anyway, so you'll get the hang of it quick enough. Do you reckon? I reckon you quick will. Quick enough. Quick enough. <laughs> yeah. Our first job is for garden designer and TV personality Dermot Gavin. Before our meeting with him, we have a few hours to ourselves, so we're off to a castle for a spot of shopping. Huntingdon is a 17th century castle that is currently being turned into a tourist attraction. So, in order to help declutter the estate, we've been invited to buy some surplus antiques by owner Alex Durdin Robertson. Hi there. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paul. I'm Alex, Hello. nice to meet you, Paul. Please Sarah. Meet you. Nice to meet you, nice I'm to meet Alex. You. Come in. Thank you. Oh, lovely. What a beautiful room. So this is your family home then, is it? Yes, it is, yes. And um, we actually, the family built the, the castle originally in 1625. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was built as a garrison for soldiers. Okay. And then after about 50 years of use as a military building, they made it into a family house. And so they've been sort of extending and adding things and making it more comfortable ever since. And it's been in your family since then? Yes. Well, we've come because you, we've heard that you have a few barns and such like that you wanted to get rid of some things. Yeah, we've got we've got some bits some bits of line line. Have a look at yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm. I certainly, I feel very lucky to live in in, in a place like this. Um, there's a lot of responsibility, obviously, looking after things and uh, selling the odd little the odd pieces of uh, antiques or, or vintage stuff that's lying around that's not being used. Certainly helps uh, helps pay for a heating bill. So I'm happy enough to do that. Huntington Castle is set on a 50 acre estate, so Alex is going to show us around. Firstly, he thinks he has something of interest to us in this barn. It's quite nice, Alex. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a copy of a, the Virgin Child, and uh, my dad bought it because he actually he liked the frame it was in. Okay. He put a mirror in the frame. So, uh, so he <laughs> and bought then left the, this. He bought the uh, he bought the, the frame. But it's so a nice he, picture. He's right. had the profit out of it, so this came for nothing. Well, he kept it. We kept it. He never sold it on. He's yeah. like the. Uh, Shame about the damage. What's happened here? That's a bit of whitewash, actually, unfortunately. It is flicking oh, whitewash. No. Yeah, someone's been painting and uh, it's got a bit of whitewash on it. Yeah. But it's, it's nothing too bad. It'll clean up. What's written down there, sir? Valentini, a copy of Mur Murillo, 1901. I might put that in, yep. OK, onwards. Yep. Hidden amongst Huntington's beautiful grounds, Alex has some unlikely items. So we've got a few bits and pieces here, a few baths, baths, and, baths and we've got some nice old uh, cast iron stuff. Yeah, the old shower. Yeah, the showers are nice actually. It's in a bit better days, but it can all be done up, can't it? Yeah, the taps, all the fittings are on it. So what do you think you might be looking at, Alex, for these bits, if you're going to sell them? I know, they're around the 900 mark. Would it be? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a bit, probably a bit much for me with the restoration I'd need to do, because the enamel in it by itself can cost about a thousand to do. Yeah. All right, moving on. This is a beautiful piece of you. Is this from here? Yeah, it's from the actual, from the old yew trees here, yeah. Is so this one that came down? Come yeah, down. one that came down, we had it sawn up into planks. Nice. It's nice, it's been been down for a while, it's nice and dried out. How, how long has that been down? Been down for about 10, 15 years. Uh, wow. My lad, he's a musical instrument maker, he'd love this. He'd make guitars out of it. 
And he loves using native hardwoods. Probably be made up with a piece yeah. of that then. Yeah, yeah he'd be real happy. He will be. Where are we headed for Alex now? We're going to go into the old theatre. Oh, it's the old theater, oh, yeah. castle <laughs> theatre. Oh, brilliant. So we've got some bits and pieces. This is kind of cute little guy. Yes, no, yes, no, sewing machine. We've got a petite one. Oh, it's a bit yeah, older than the usual yeah. ones as well. It's huh? a bit more, yeah, a bit more special than the normal ones. Yeah. Mind your coconut. So there's only one way up. Is it safe? It is, it's perfectly safe. Let's go turn on the lights. Yeah. Okay. Put these little Indian chairs. chairs, yeah. Well, here's more treasure. That's nice. Part of an old cake cabinet. Is it? Yep. So this is all a bit more storage and... Yeah, there's a bit of kind of, uh... Bits Shushan. and pieces. Shushan. Try the old Shushan. That's Let's... quite good, isn't it? Let me sit on it. See if it's satisfactory. No, ma'am. Yeah. Ooh, they need a shine as well. Look at those. Yeah, that's all right. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is that for sale? Yeah, that yeah. You You're not out in the town. I'm not, out, I'm not, I'm not out in town enough to warrant that. These are interesting. Yeah, look at those. Oh, cool, you've got a fox. Mm. A a hound. Hound. Yeah, there's two more. They're nicely carved out of wood. Oak as well, are they? Mm. Ah. Ah. And <laughs> if we can't afford the other sewing machine. Yeah, then maybe we can afford that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we can do a little deal on that one. That's quite funny. <laughs> that is just adorable, isn't it? It's like a little Robin Hood scene on it. It's um, William Tell. <laughs> yeah, William Tell, that's it. There's the remains of an old boat. It's lost its keel. Is there here somewhere? There's one just there. Oh, there it is. Heavy one. Lead keel, is it? Yeah. Brass. Lead. Brass. Yeah. It does need proper restoration. I think you actually it? carried it by the keel, didn't you, through there? Yeah, it's got when a handle. When you went to your boating pond. Yeah, when you we went to your boating pond. Have you got a boating pond here? We haven't got a boating pond. We have, yeah. a, we have a lake, which yeah. we're restoring at the moment. Well, we're going to have a chat, me and Sarah, about prices and see what we can work out, if that's all right, and then come back to you. Brilliant. Why don't you go to our new tea room? OK. Lovely. Oh, not that uh, way. Uh, <laughs> not this way. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go that way, you can, but uh, I'll go down these stairs. Whoa! Whoa! So, what are we going to do? That bath. I like. Yeah, he's asking a grand, a bag of sand, but um, that's too much. But I get the feeling he might move a bit on it. You reckon? I reckon he might. I reckon I can uh, get him down to at least half of that. OK, Alex, well, we gathered a few bits. Brilliant. And now we're going to try and see if we can have a deal. Yes, indeed. I'm interested in the bass, but you came in with a really high price for the three bits that I want. So I need to know on the baths what, what's the very best you could do I on them. I think we could do those for around about... We'll do them for six flat. Yeah, see, that's still a bit strong for me. Well, what do you reckon your best, well, your best bid on that is? My, I, depending on what happens with this lot... Yeah. So leave it your send. Well, we'll leave them. We can park them. them to the side. We're getting a bit on there. Um, this picture I like. Yep. And it does need cleaning up and everything else. Yep. And what, what is your very best on this? The very best we'll do is three flat on that. Three flat on that. Two for the boat. 150 for the sewing machine. 80. Yeah. And we'll call the thing, we'll call yeah. it 750 yeah. all in. Yeah, on that lot. Yeah, you see, that's definitely too rich for me. Definitely. Well, I'll do 250 and 150 on the boat, right? Cool. Do 50 for the shoe shine. Cool. cool. 450. Yeah. And then we'll call it, call it six all in for what's oh, here then. So down from 7.50 to 6. Well, the, and we got the bath bits, OK? And you're the bath. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Um, that's my best, now. that's... I'll tell you what my best is, and I'm prepared to make you an offer on the whole lot with the baths, and you probably know what it is. One prize, cash money. It wants to be... It wants to be... It wants to be a grand. It wants to be, oh, it wants to be more than a grand. No, that's, that's the right price. That's 500 and 500, cash money. I'll do 11. No, it doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for me. We have to do something. Um. So, like, if you do 1100, and I'll put in the nice piece of timber for you as well. I'm happy to have a deal with you at that 11. Uh, on 11? Yeah. Done, fair enough. <sighs> Thank, Thank heavens you. Heavens, that's over. In Ireland, I'd say people would be quite used to haggling because in the countryside, farmers or horse traders, you know, you pretty much haggle for anything unless you buy it out of a supermarket.
Huntington Castle was a big haul, which would leave us with no space in the landing. So we've arranged for the goods to be shipped back to Devon. But before they go, we're having a quick peek at what we bought. Sarah! Yo! Look at all this good stuff we got. Whew. What do you reckon? You and your bathtubs. You don't think it'd look good in the bathroom? Yeah, I think they're great. Yeah. You good. restore that. I mean, someone will have that. Yeah. Sure. Well, I'd either, I'd probably either sell it bang out just as it is. Yeah. About a grand or something. Or if someone wanted it restored, yeah, it could weigh, weigh up yeah, three, yeah. four, three, four grand, whatever. So. What about your boat? No, it is really nicely made. I mean, it cleaned up as a display item. Yeah. For sailing clothes or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, you know, I totally sailing, agree. Yachting, there's money there. I know it, yeah. Or it could go into private hands. It could end up with, yeah, retired yachtsman. Yeah. Yeah, you know, who just loves it and wants to restore it. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I think we this came in at about 100 in our deal. Yeah. But if it was really cleaned up, it could go for quite a lot. I'm not really sure, but at least 500. I'd have I would yeah. not be surprised, actually. Most of these items should bring us in a small profit. But the bath and shower units, if re-enamelled, could make a couple of thousand euros, making Huntington a successful visit. We're going to meet our first Irish client, Dermot Gavin. He's a Chelsea Flower Show gold medalist. Apparently, he needs our help searching for a design classic. Are you much of a gardener? <laughs> I can kill a plant by waving my hands over it. Like can you? <laughs> Simply pass your hands over it and it wilts and dies. Hi. Clement, Hello. I'm Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Thank you. So, this is home. And uh, you want some chairs? I would love, it's treat time. I would love some chairs that I've coveted for years. All right, so what are they? They're bubble chairs, um, really iconic, I think, piece of furniture by a Finnish guy called Eero Arnio. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just lovely. Yeah, I've, yeah, actually, there's ah. a out of focus photograph. Let me show you where I'd love to use these um, chairs. This is where I like to sit. On a Sunday morning, the sun streams in here. You have a few hours to yourself. You sit and you relax. You go through your books. You get inspiration. You see what's happening around the world. Um, that's been the comfortable chair at the moment, but the dream has been to have something that chair. more reflects. Yeah. My ambition is to destroy this house with quirkiness uh, yeah. inside and out. The first time I saw an image of those chairs, I wanted to sit in one. Um, and I've never, seen, I've never seen them at all in this country. I've never seen them anywhere in this country. So I think they might have trouble finding them. So, Dimit, you want a pair of these chairs, and your budget is around 1,000 euros. Yes. I mean, are we likely to be able to, you've experienced finding them for commissions now, are we likely to be able to find them for that? I think it's going to be difficult. Yes. I think it's going to be very difficult. So you're giving us a very hard task, it sounds like. Yes. Yeah, One, to find them. Two, to find them for that price. And um, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday, tomorrow. <laughs> Good luck with the quest. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't look having great commission. Great. I think it's going to be really tricky, though, getting those chairs on that budget. Plus, he's very discerning. He knows what he wants. <sighs> the other thing is, I don't just have all my contacts ready to go. Have I've like got good contacts over here. Have you now? I have indeed. In fact, I've heard of a really good salvage yard in Dublin that we're going to go to shortly, if you're up for it. A salvage yard? Yep. Yeah. Are they going to have bubble chairs at a salvage yard? Well, Sarah, we've got to start somewhere and they might know of some if they haven't got themselves and who knows what might be there. Fair enough. I know it's no good arguing with you. <laughs> <laughs> On the outskirts of Dublin is ST Salvage. I've heard this place is full of architectural objects, which I love. It's a chaotic yard, so owner Sean is here to show us around. Sean. Paul. How are you, Paul? Hello, I'm you. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello, hello. So are we all right to have a look in your yard? No problem. What well, is it in these warehouses here? Yeah. You've got a lot of stuff out here. <laughs> bit of stuff, all right, yeah. Bit of stuff. A bit of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that an Irish understatement, is it? Yeah. He's very happy about it. <laughs> wow. Well, there's a bit of stuff in here, Sean. Huge. Huge. So where's all the stuff come from then? It's all demolitions you do. Mostly demolition, yeah. You drag it all in here. Yeah. And then out it goes Sorry. again. Yeah. Nice windows. Yeah. Where have those come from? These big it windows. It came from uh, uh, Dublin. Dublin. 
So is it you who's pulling down all the famous buildings? <laughs> I've done a few already. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Where's this from? It came from, well, it came down uh, Burr, Burr Castle. Burr. Yeah. So that, this is Irish. Murphy Castle, yeah. This is Irish. Yeah. This is the genuine yeah. thing. Yeah. This is the real deal. Sean has stock from castles and grand Irish estates. We're bound to find something we want. These are interesting. Look at. Yeah. What's this, Sean? A whole balcony? Balcony, yeah. Well, the whole thing? I buy the whole pile of it. Oh, you buy the whole pile and you sell the odd bit like yeah. this? Yeah. Right. What do you what? get for these then? 30 year each. 30 each. See, that's not, not out of the way for a nice piece of casting. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice, genuine piece of casting. It is, yeah. Quite an interesting design, really, with these daisy things here and early twists there. Yeah, Quite unusual. I can see us making a table out of that. Us. But would we ever get round to it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Where's this come from? A pub? Yeah. Was it? Was, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's a fine, dusty old moose fellow. What's his name, Sean? Bessie. Bessie. <laughs> Bessie. <laughs> is there Bessie for sale, is she? Well, she's for sale at the money, yeah. What sort of money would that be? About a, about a round of grand. A, a grand. grand. Yeah. Does this get rented out, this one? It does, yeah. Does the it? videos and what like? Yeah. So oh, what, what would you get for renting something like that out? For about two weeks, 500 euros. Ooh. So that's why you want a grand for it? <laughs> so you wouldn't take 500 for it? No. The moose is expensive, but I can see its potential as a rental item. I'm sure it would pay for itself fairly quickly. What about all this chrome here? Yeah. What's the story about that? That came from the Gatty Moor and Cricklewood. I like a bit of chrome. See, I see redoing these, actually. You could put like a 70s kind of fabric on them. Chrome is just always popular, isn't it? It always pops up in all kinds of design from different uh, decades. It's just it's shiny. It's a perennial favorite, isn't shiny it? Chrome. chrome. Yep. You can't really go wrong with a good bit of chrome, I reckon. No. Chrome has been used in furniture design for nearly a century. One of the earliest examples being Marcel Brewer's Vasily chair, designed in 1925. By the 50s and 60s, chrome had infiltrated mainstream domestic and commercial interiors. American diners and restaurants in particular took to chrome as it was durable, easy to clean, and made their establishments look new and modern. A resurgence of chrome in furniture design occurred in the 1980s, which is when Sean's dining sets were made. Although they're incomplete, I'm confident I can refurbish them back to their former glory. So what, what do you sell a set like this for them? Tenner each. Tenner an item? Yeah. Oh, you're not the world's cheapest man, then? No. I mean, the thing is here is this is just a typical, typical reclamation salvage yard. Yeah. Actually, what I like about it, it's a little bit rougher. It is, isn't it? Than the it's English yard. It's not so decorated out and yeah. put so yeah. neatly. Yeah, it's, it's not precious. Rough as rats. Yeah. Which is good. That's where you find stuff, yeah. Before we make any kind of deal, I have something to add to the pile for myself. Hey, Paul. Hey, what? You know I like a good gnome. Have you got a gnome to go to? <laughs> what do you think? I think they're green leprechaun gnomes. <laughs> I think they're really funny. What do you get for them? Very little. Very little? I like to I'm hear that. 20 euro. 20 euro. Hmm. For the pair? Yeah. That's a deal. Deal. I'll have them. So, Sean, we've gathered up a few yeah. bits and we're going to see if we can have a deal with you. Yeah. You're going to be kind to us? Oh, yeah. So, um, Bessie. Yeah. How much can she be? 1500. Oh, Ooh, you've doubled the price already. <laughs> doubled the price already. Because <laughs> I'm only seeing her at about. Five or six hundred. You know that? Oh, well, then, no. Well, then, no. no. So we haven't started very well, have we? <laughs> no. These ones, i got four of those. What will you do the four of those for? Uh, 100 euros. 100 euros, that sounds pretty good to me. And Sarah's stuff, her chrome stuff and everything else. i got oh, ten pieces. Ten pieces all together. Ten or a piece. 100 euros. Would they come in with the gnomes for a hundred? Something like that? All right. Would that be yeah. all right? So the main, main thing we're going to discuss about is Bessie here. Yeah. What about, what about, so we've got 200 here. What about if I was to offer you a grand with that? 
Would you take a grand with these other items? Uh, okay. Yeah, no right. deal. Right. Those are your eyes. <laughs> yeah. And we bought a moose. Thanks. That's great. <laughs> yeah, great. I'm going to get severe trouble, mate. <laughs> the chrome dining sets could, after a refurb, fetch five or six hundred euros. And Paul could top that up if he can rent out old Bessie a couple of times. It's a short trip across town to meet our second Irish client, Arnott's, the oldest department store in Dublin. They have a budget of 1,500 euros, and we have a meeting with visual merchandising manager Damien Byrne to find out what he wants. Hello. Hello, Hi. Sarah. How are you? Hi, Damien Paul. Hi, how are you? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you in person. Yes. Thanks for taking time to meet with us. No problem. What we were hoping is that we could see the shoe department and talk to you a bit more about the brief. OK, follow me. I just wanted a central piece a display piece, okay. just a feature for the area. Right, something with some personality. Yeah. So what, what would be your ideal items that you'd like us to come up with? We've got different styles of footwear coming through, mm -hmm. and if we can group together brogues and maybe penny loafers, different types, just to make features of them on a piece of furniture would be great. Got it, OK. Yeah. So stuff you can put things on top of. Yes. It would be nice to get some other textures. More wood would be good, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, definitely. To go with all these lovely leathers. I mean, we'll, we'll know it when we see it. That's the thing. We've got to get out there. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, of around and... That's fine. We'll do our very best. I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> <this. laughs> OK. OK. We're we'll we'll going. We'll Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll keep in touch. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. We're on the hunt for a display piece for Dublin's oldest department store. It's not the kind of place we usually visit, but one of Paul's contacts has informed us of an antiques dealer operating out of this lockup on the edge of Dublin. Hello, you How must you be doing? Ian. Yes. Paul, is it? Yeah. Sarah, Lovely nice to meet you. Meet you. Come Look on at in. this. It looks like you've been keeping goats in here. Yeah, that's the idea. Is it? <laughs> yeah. So this yeah. is the center of operations. This is the basis where all the magic happens. I like it. Yeah. yeah. So is this like a shop or? Uh, well, no, we do get people that come down from time to time, have a little wander around yeah. and uh, buy some bits and pieces, but generally it's all sold online. Okay, have you good. got the money? We're, we're in business. Is that price or should we just shout over to you? You, you just shout at me it. and I'll uh, decide on the price. Okay. Yeah, you decide right I'll decide and see how I'm feeling. I will, yeah, that's generally how I operate. Man after me over yeah. now. I'm feeling good today, so you might be lucky. Oh, <laughs> glad to hear yeah. it. I kind of like these already. What do you get on stuff like this? These They're old ledgers, ledgers. whiskey ledgers, um, from about 1920s, 1930s. Look at that. Uh, for that one there, 200 euro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, let me just put that carefully back. You can put it down, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you get many of these in? Um, now and again, now and again. Um, they're very, very nice. They work great. Um, again, in a display or something like that for a yeah. shop or a pub. Absolutely ideal. And what do you get for something like this, then? Something like that, about 750 euro. Ooh. Yeah. What about this Will Star cigarettes thing? Yeah, um, uh, I'll do you a deal on that. You can have that for 75 euro. It's a bit of a bargain. See, I'd probably upholster something with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reckon let's put that in the pile. We specialise in antique Irish curiosities, collectibles, pub decor. That's pretty much what we do. We do most of our business to um, Irish expats and um, the pub trade, Irish pub trade. That's generally um, pretty much the majority of our customers. Here's a shoe related item. What you got? This is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, an antique cobbler's wheel. Yeah. So one. is the whole thing antique, or is it just this bit? The whole thing is antique. It's just been spruced up a little yeah. bit. Mm. So someone's that, that would be the lettering's yeah. been done by someone. Do you think this would suit our chat, our, our Annette's? I think let's put that in a maybe pile. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, we need to find yeah. something better, really. I think we need something kind of a bit... Bigger and better. Something with some presence, don't we? Cool. Furniture, what do you have? Furniture we need. Like What's this, this yeah. thing back here? Uh, nice. That's an old oak cabinet that just got traded in last week. Brogues. So it might fit the bill. It is actually a shoe cabinet. It is indeed, yeah. yeah. Quality handmade boots and shoes. Oh, you know what? I think this is cool. I think it's probably cool. exactly what we need. Is this an Irish thing then? Well, it came to us here, so um, yeah. I'm not sure yeah. what the history of it is, but um, yeah, it's an attractive cabinet. And with these rails in. Yeah, that's cool. I really like that. Do you think Arnitz would be happy with this as we can't find the chair? I don't see how they could not be happy with that. Well, maybe we should ask him the price. Um, do you a nice deal on that for 1,200 euro? Oh! Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. 1,200 euros? Yeah. Ouch! That is a lot of money. 
Yeah. I mean, is there any wiggle on this? Yeah, there's a little bit of wiggle always, but... Um, but I can tell you now that I'm not going to want to give more than half of that. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. So what do you think we should offer? Well, I've already bid him six. Mm -hmm. So that's our starting point. Yeah. Been, so that's our starting point. We see yeah. where we get to. I like having a deal now. Yeah, yeah. You I think Ian will, will, will like having a deal. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be will. fine, yeah. I'm sure. We'll have a bit of fun. OK. OK, that's OK, that's good. So, um, you're saying 12 on this? 12 on this, yeah. Which I think is way over the odds, but... Um, OK, OK, yeah. The, and this, you were saying 120, weren't you? 120 yeah. for you, yeah, 120. On no worries. And Sarah's... That Clark. thing, yeah, 75. We'll say 75. 200 for the two of those. You say 200 on those Yeah, two. yeah. So there's not really any room on... That's gone up. <laughs> I'll play five that's or 120 ten, plus 75. <laughs> I know, yeah, well, that's kind of the way <laughs> I... Can I just slip that in there? I didn't think you'd notice. Just a bit like... <laughs> so, um, what can you actually do this for? How about this? I'll give you, for 1200 I'll give you these two pieces for free. I think I'd like to go a bit better. I'd, I'd be... What would I be saying? We're saying... I'd, I mean, I'd, I don't see it... I think a grand is plenty. Mm -hmm. I do. I think a thousand, a yeah, thousand yeah. pound is plenty. So, um, 12 versus a thousand is only one thing to do, really, isn't it? What's that? And meet in the middle. Well, split the difference. Yeah. Deal? As much as it hurts me, I think that's a deal, yeah. See. Thanks right. very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. OK, good. The cobbler and cupboard are ideal for Arnott's shoe display. To sweeten the deal, we'll throw in the shoeshine stand from Huntingdon. Galway is a two-hour drive from Dublin. We're making the journey on the chase for bubble chairs for garden designer Dermot Gavin. An old friend of mine reckons he has just what we need. Jim, how you doing? Ah, oh, Mr Paul Lingard. How you doing, yeah? Brilliant. Long time no see. This is Sarah. Hello. Hi, hi. hi how yeah. you doing, yeah? Didn't know he had any pals other than me. Ah, oh, <laughs> associates, maybe. Associates. <laughs> so this is your empire, brilliant. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Jim's prop store. Lovely. Yeah, it looks good. Sure. And you've got exactly what we're looking for, as you said. We've got a garden designer, Dermot yeah. Gavin. Oh, yeah, I've heard of Asked us for two of these. Well, it yeah. just so happens. I've got another one there. Perfect. And they're for sale? Yeah, we, I think we can do a deal, yeah. It's really a nice one. So line. is this an original name? This is from the Aaron Eames company, yeah. Is it? Yeah, and uh, you get lots of copies now, brand new, from China. But mm -hmm. uh, they made, originally made them in the 60s, and yeah. this is a 70s, 80s one. Though. OK, this is the later one, but mm. still from the same company. Yeah, it is. So it's got the right, right. provenance. Created in 1968 by Finnish designer Eero Arnio, the bubble chair is an iconic piece of furniture. Arnio designed it as a progression on his modernist ball chair. He wanted a transparent chair that would let in light from all angles. Finding that there was no way of making a clear pedestal, Arnio came up with the idea of hanging the chair from the ceiling. Clean, modern design means it has never fallen out of favor with art directors in television, film, and print. So you got other stuff for sale? Yeah, of course. So uh, everything's for sale. Look? Most of Jim's stock is old TV and film props, making for an eccentric collection, which I love. Costume galore, look, Sarah's heaven. <laughs> Can we handle things? Yeah, oh yeah, oh. pull out what you like and have a look. No, I have a thing for umbrellas. Oh yeah, well there's plenty there. This little guy's nice. This is a later one though, isn't it? Yeah. 60s, 70s? 60s. 60s, you yeah. reckon? Yeah. Is that one for sale? Yeah. How much? It's a lovely colour. I say 30 quid. 30 quid. Seems all right. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Now, is this a genuine? Yeah, it is, yeah. Is it early Victorian, that one? Yeah, it's well, it's all mid-Victorian. Look at that. I spotted something Jim with my eagle eyes. Oh, your magpie eyes, you mean? Yeah, eagle magpie eyes. <laughs> little loose sight handbag. Yeah, it's like a loose sight, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, one of the early plastics. Loose sight in glass. Yeah. What sort of price? Know. I think I could let it go for 40 quid. Yeah. Look, this is my favourite kind of thing. Yeah, post bags. What do you get on that? 20 quid. Done. So, Jim, we're trying to have a deal with these chairs, is it? OK. And apart from the other bits that you've very nicely placed here... Yeah. ..in the display fashion, mm -hmm. um, what would be the best on these? I think I'd go 850. 850. Mm -hmm. And that's including those bits, is it? Yeah. Are you any good? Pound notes, cash? Oh, euro notes. Euro notes? Yeah. It's a real, real deal, cash Go money. on, then. Yeah? You happy yeah. with that? Yeah, sure. I'm happy with that. You happy yeah, with that? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Great. Yeah, yeah. You got a deal. A yeah. quick and easy Definitely. deal. Definitely. Right. Great. Thank you. We came here for Dermot's bubble chairs and got them. Jim also agreed to throw in a few extras, from which we could make a couple of hundred euros. Well, Paul, your mate came up trumps. Yeah, that was good, <laughs> wasn't it? Good old yeah. Jim. It was nice to see him again. 
Yeah, he seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, he is. He's sound. And um, those chairs are right. I'm yeah, they say. seem correct, don't they? Yeah, they're not. They're not repro. They're just later by the by yeah. the right maker. Which by, that uh, should names, be yeah. fine, shouldn't it? Yeah, no, that's good. Mm. That's what he wanted. Mm. We're back in Dublin and we've been told by visual merchandising manager Damien that he's received our wooden furniture and shoe cobbler. We're just around the corner from, um, oh no, Sarah, oh, do you wanna pop in and see what it looks like? I would love to, do we have time? Yeah, let's do it. Morning. Hi, Hi Damien. Welcome back. Looks good. Yeah, really happy with it. Brilliant, I like what you've done with it. Yeah. yeah. Works well anyway. Yeah, no, it does. Does it mixes really well with this, the vintage stuff that you already have in here? Is it super yeah. yeah, I think it works really well. That's great. I'm glad to see that the shoe racks yes. are being used as they yeah. should. That's great. Our vintage furniture really enhances Damien's high quality footwear. This beautifully crafted leather and worn timber has made for a great combination and a satisfying client. Delighted. Thank you very good. much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Thank you. I will definitely be back in touch good. for more good. of this kind of thing. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thank, thank you very so much. much. Cheers. All right. Bye. Bye. Today is our last day in Ireland, and we still have a little bit of space left in the wagon. So, having followed up a lead, I have an interesting antiques dealer for us to visit. Hopefully, this will be a chance to top up our profits for this trip. Where are we going, Sarah? Well, it's a really quick detour. It's this little shop over here that's closing down. But he's actually closed today, but he said we could come in and have a little nosy and see if there's anything good for us. Hello, Hello. Sarah. Hiya. Sarah Vincent, please Vincent, to meet you. Vincent, nice yeah. to meet you. It's Paul. And you are Hi, Paul. Vincent. Yeah, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, come in. You're more than welcome. Great, thank you very much. No, it's all. Come in and have a look. Nice shop, Vincent, full of stuff. It's a real shame you got to close down. Yeah, it's sign the times. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way the, the cookie crumbles. Yeah, so, yeah, well, it's... thanks for letting us in. No, no, you're maybe... more than welcome. I hope there's something here that, that, that you, will, you will like and I can yeah. do a deal with you. Whoa, Paul, look at cracking Rex in here. Look at this yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, I like that. Is this that. Italian as well? Yeah, no? it's Italian, yeah. That's, yeah. that's great, isn't it? These are cool. Yeah, they're Grundig. I've never 1960s. seen that style. Yeah, a Grundig cube. speaker they're called, before. They're called cube speakers. That's so cool. Yeah. There's loads of stuff in here, though. That's quite nice. Which? Is it a light? Was it that just a sculpture? sculpture? Yeah, yeah, it's just a wall sculpture quite signed by Vincent Sterling. It's 1971, I think. Quite oh. interesting, sort of enamel work and the copper. And the copper, yeah. yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot in it. What, what sort of money would you have on something like that? Uh, I amassed around 250 retail oh, for yeah. that, but. You just could there. do something with it. To yourself, I'd yeah. better go for 175. Would you, yeah? Ooh, look, this is up my street. Yeah, the co hangers, yeah, yeah. They're what do you got on something like cool that? Pretty cool with the musical, musical notes on yeah, them. Yeah, it's really uh, cute. I would normally would ask for something around 90, but to Ooh. you. Yeah, but no, 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 to you, 50 euro. Although he runs an antique shop, Vincent will happily handle items from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Something that he feels makes him stand out from other dealers in the area. In this particular antique quarter, I would be very much. I wouldn't be very much appreciated or accepted. As far as they're concerned, I'm lowering the tone of the area because I'm not a big flash antique, and particularly antiques only, whatever. But I do what I like. I have a passion for this, and I love dealing with young and trendy people and everything else. It's more interesting. It keeps me more alive, and they're in tune with, with more. The Blue Rinse Brigade. I don't want them in the door. I've had enough. End of story. I love these. These oh, are really yeah, cool, fine. huh? Yeah, they're Andrew right. Shetty spider lamps. Yeah, I just love it. I like the colour yeah. combinations. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. lovely, yeah. isn't it? It's elegant, lovely. Thing. I could do that for around three hundred. Ooh. Yeah. I like these because they have a bit of a sense of humour as well, you know. But it's, the, the, it's not the, the, a stuffy chandelier, no, is it's, it? Like, it's like a, a sculpture. It's like a yeah. piece of art. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have to necessarily plug it in. It's a pure line design yeah. kind of thing. So it's you can simple. mix it with whatever it's just, as well. It's just you can mix it with stuff any era. It's the simplicity of it. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Look at this cute little friend. Oh, yeah, that's a little classic. <laughs> Here, I'll plug him back in. I just love that, that's great. That's a little classic. Danish, yeah. Typical Danish, it's Danish yeah. yeah, 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 typical, mm, yeah. Plastic it's ones. Style, yeah. Plastic ones. Yeah, plastic ones. Yeah, yeah. Plastic, yep. Yep. Damaged here. Oh, oh, it's only It's only a hair crack. It's not going to be touched up. Oh, yeah, they're a little bit delicate, aren't they? Yeah, they get knocked over, innit? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm asking two for 200, I would do that for if I was any interest. Yeah. Yep. It's not cheap, this stuff. It's not cheap. No, no. Vincent has lots of rare and iconic design items, but he knows it. To get his 1960s Danish table lamp and the spider chandelier at a good price, we may have to buy in bulk. Hello, Paul. Yeah? I found something. <laughs> is it on the UK, UK line, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. What do you get for that? Uh, I'll take 45 quid for that. Mm. Yeah, it's not there. Mm. Yeah. Cheap and cheerful? 
What's this then? That is a... Uh, Some sort of paparazzi. No, 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 no. Snipers. No. <laughs> Snipers camera. No, it's a photo sniper. The photo that's, sniper. That's Russian. It's 1960, 1969. It's 25 oh. millimeter. Smuggle out of Russia, obviously. Oh, and this is for taking pictures of the uh, spies and the uh, spying on the demonstrations and whatever. Yeah, whatever it is, yeah. Interesting piece. I have the original case off that, and I think I have the, have the, the manual and the, the service records where it was yeah. fully serviced, yeah. yeah. I was asked around three for that. I could do it around, really? around 200. Right. It was any interest. But it's a very collectible piece. Is it, yeah? Yeah. Well, if a photographer would, would buy that and just to have it out on the wall as a norm, and he would never use it. It's an interesting yeah. piece, yeah. 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 Right, Sarah, what is it you want to buy? Because we need to go, uh, you know? Well, yeah, I like that Danish light, you know, the rocket yeah, one? Yeah, Totally great. I what do you say on that? How much do you say on that? I can't remember now. Right. Mm. Okay. What else? It was over 100, I think. Okay. Um, the chandelier yep. with the different colours. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I love that. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Um, the coat rack with the little baubles. Yep. One of those. Yep. Um, the telephone. Yep. I reckon that that probably do me. Yep. that get me my fix. What about the sculpture up on the wall? That you were looking oh, at. Oh, yeah. You like that with the enamel in the copy? That's, that's where to go. Yeah, I like that. And um, I might chuck that camera in on a deal if I can. It's too dead, but yeah, if I can get it on a deal yeah. then. It's tricky in Ireland. I mean, the prices yeah, are yeah. all more than what yeah. we normally pay, so. So, um, Sarah's gathered together a few bits, so we're going to see if we can have a deal with you. Well, you got a little parcel. Yeah, a little parcel here. Well, but if parcel I just. Of goods, yeah. Goods. Can I just go through the prices with you again? Yeah, no problem. Just so we know where we are. We get your best prices, of course. Yeah, what the I'll, real best prices. What I'll do is, yeah. I'll, if it suits you, yeah. right, I'll give you a block price on the lot. Yeah. I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse, basically. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's what he usually that does. That sounds good. Right, OK. <laughs> I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you one price and one price only. End of story. Well, cut straight to okay. price and that's it. End one of story. Price. Right, I'm gonna look OK, at so the, it's uh, either take it or leave it, is it? Yeah. You tell me exactly what it is you want that you're definitely interested in. OK, we'll do that okay. now. For definite. Well, it depends how yeah. it goes. Let me go through it with you and I'll come No maybes. No maybes, but... Right, OK. The sculpture, the wall sculpture, yeah, that the one. telephone, this one, the crow hanger, that the rocket one. lamp, that one, the Italian piece, and, and, the, and the Russian photo sniper. But I will say, okay, fair enough. That if you go straight in with the price, mm. I'm only might be interested in them all, but it depends if the price is right. I'm going to give you one price only, and that price is 500 quid for the lot. End of story. Okay. <laughs> End of story. Done it, Bobby. End of story. Good. See, I told you it was your deal. <laughs> that is it. Yeah, yeah. End of story. That yeah. never sure, happens. It happens. There you go. Well, I'm closing yeah. down as well. Yeah. I've yeah. got to consider that also. He knew that was yeah, the right yeah. price. Yeah, but you're a nice Good people also. Yeah. It was a pleasure dealing with you. That was awesome. Yeah, Vincent, really nice guy. Wow, that's so great when someone, a dealer just makes us the right offer right off. So was this deal for you not very much fun? Yeah, no, it was fun because that's, I like someone to do that. Right. Do you do that for other people? Occasionally. It's an occasional thing. Yeah. Vincent had some great stuff. I'll keep the camera and the wall sculpture, but we could still make a good profit from the remaining items. Before we leave Ireland, we have one last thing to do present the bubble chairs to Dermot Gavin. We didn't find the original 1960s items, but our 1970s versions are still genuine Aero Arneo chairs. We can't be far from Dermot's now. Do you think you'll like them? Yeah, I think he's going to be really pleased, actually. I think they're the right thing. I hope so. Yeah. In theory, it's a slam dunk. Yeah. He asked for a particular thing. Yeah. We got a particular yeah. thing. <laughs> no, I think they're going to be really good. Sarah? This is the preferred carrying this method. This is the, the right <laughs> method of carrying these chairs as approved <laughs> by the manufacturer. Does my butt look big in this? I can't, luckily I can't see your butt. Are you going to be able to reach the doorbell? Yeah, I'll be all right. You be careful. <laughs> I'm going to ring the doorbell. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Hello! Are these the chairs you wanted? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Now, which one is Buzz Lightyear? This. <laughs> <laughs> They're brilliant. Come on in. OK, I you got it? I love them. Hold on, I might have to give Sarah some assistance. Yes, I can take this. I you can maybe yeah. shimmy through sideways. They're fantastic. They're not reproduction, are they? No, they're from the, the right manufacturer, but later. These are sort of 70s, 
Like yep. seven so they're pure. Yeah, yeah. If they came from thing, the yeah. same, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They, uh, the, the, uh, exactly. all that sort of thing. All I wanted to know was the that they were genuine. Yeah. the real vision of, of uh, the guy who designed them. Yeah, yeah. They're, exactly. the yeah. They are. they're beautiful in their simplicity. Will we bring one in and see what it looks yeah. like? Yeah, any way you want it. Super. Lead the way. Okay. Great. That's going to be wonderful. That's very, very exciting. Creating a completely different atmosphere up in, in this part of the, the, the room. We'll continue with our mission of reinventing suburbia through <laughs> mischievous furniture. <Yeah. laughs> mischievous, yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. What a great trip to Ireland that yeah, was. Yeah, that was a trip, wasn't it? I love going over there. Mm. I just thought I loved that old Irish crack. Yeah, you got some nice stuff. Yeah, we Painting. did. Painting? Bought it for get... 300, sold it for 400. That's fine. Yeah, but I liked it. Yep. What about your boat? Bought it for 100, sold it for 200. What about those great. baths? Um, they're great, but they're going to have to wait for the right client. Yeah. That's one of those things, a big, heavy thing. Yep. But they got a great yep. for the right person, but they're rare. You know, they can make thousands, yeah. though. We've seen them priced at 6,000. So. I mean, that's the great thing about Ireland. OK, we might be paying quite high prices, but it was unusual stuff that we yeah. don't see. And yeah, it was definitely. fresh, wasn't yeah. it? And good clients. Dermot mm -hmm. Gavin. He was really happy, wasn't he? Yeah. So all in all, I think Ireland did very well for us. Yeah, I think we made a little bit of money. Yeah, got some good clients. Mm-hmm. Travel the world and buy interesting stuff. That's right. Where are we going next? Yeah, I don't know. Sarah forgets the first rule of dealing. Sarah, <gasps> liberties. Don't do that. I that makes the price go. Paul goes on a charm offensive. 450 to pay up. But that's no good for me. I'm not a million miles You're away. You're hard work, you are, aren't oh. you? We get bad news from the big smoke. What's up? They don't want any of the stuff we found for them. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That's annoying. And divine inspiration for a client in Wales. That is crazy. <laughs> It is very cheeky and it works. It is cheeky. <laughs>